hello everyone welcome to cloud part shala's uh, video series uh, in this video we would be looking into virtual machines on google cloud platform this is a new series in which we would be exploring google cloud services i would be jumping into my google cloud platform so this is the console that we use for google cloud and I would be going into compute engine where we would be able to create our virtual machine. So as you see, I don't have any virtual machines running at the moment on Google Cloud. So I would go ahead and create my first virtual machine. I click on create instance at the bottom of the screen, which should be loading up this console page, wherein I'll name this instance with our code name cpb00 and virtual machine 1 i could add labels to this virtual machine so the batch would be cpb00 i could also give the environment variable or uh, the environment could be test and i could add these two labels to it the next thing that we uh, would be presented with is selection of the region so we could select any of the region which we would like to to be created so as you see uh, there are some green regions where these the co2 emissions are really less and there are some other regions which are trying to follow this you now let's uh, select any region so i would be selecting the us central iowa and this is the availability zone or the zone in which I would be creating it. As you see, there are four zones that are available uh, for us to select from. So I'd be selecting central 1A and we would now be selecting the machine configuration that we want to use. Now, um, we could select from the different range of uh, machine types that are available for us. We would be selecting E2 because that is for general purpose i could also go in and select the machine type so i'd be selecting ec2 micro which is 1 gb of memory and 2 vcpus and would be scrolling down for other things so now once the cpu has been created i would be selecting the the disks and the images that we are provided with now if you look uh, this is the operating system so i could go for any of the uh, operating system platforms i could as well select centos red hat linux uh, ubuntu suze linux uh, or even a windows server so for ubuntu and go for a specific version of ubuntu that could be 2022 or 2020 or 22 or 04 or any of the lts version so let's go with the latest one and here you could define the size of the disk uh, we will go with the defaults which is 10 gb needed for uh, creation of this server now once that the operating system has been selected we would be going down and uh, going further down and uh, we would be al allowing the firewall to allow traffic on http so that we could test uh, a web server installation on the server as you see for the e2 micro uh, the estimated cost uh, on a monthly basis comes out to be seven dollars or 7.11 dollars every month and the hourly cost is barely 0 0.01 dollar per hour and uh, uh, that's all for it we'll just cl click on create and this should create our virtual machine in gcp so this is how uh, the virtual machine would look like we could refresh the page from center of the screen and you would see that we already have an external ip and an internal ip that is allocated to it now if i access this external ip this would take me to the page but uh, since we have not installed any application or web server running on the instance so we would not be able to capture the page as of now now uh, in order to connect to the uh, to the instance we could use ssh which is a built in feature so this would actually open a web page wherein 
we would be able to connect to the server using SSH. So that is SSH in browser functionality which uh, would allow us to connect to the server. This might take few seconds. So once we are connected in, into the instance, you will see that the host name is actually being taken from uh, the instance name that we have provided when we are creating the server. Uh, I'll I'll go to sudo su and then we would do a apt get update. So once we have everything updated, we could go ahead and uh, install Apache Web Server. Install Apache 2. So here we get the Apache Web Server. So once now that is being installed, we can then go inside the system folder. The default folder where the index.html lies, that is where dub 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 html. And if you see that uh, we already would have an index.html which is this. Now uh, if we refresh this uh, icon, we would uh, get the home page of our entire server. So we could also go ahead and change the content over there. So I could just delete everything and uh, we'll just uh, type in quickly hello world from cpb00 i'll save the entire thing and if you reload this page so this should automatically be giving us the new uh, content that we have put in the web server so this is how we create uh, the instance uh, in google cloud platform and uh, this is how we can use the ssh functionality over here to connect to the linux server in google cloud platform I hope you like this video. Uh, this is a very simple way in which we could create the instance in GCP. We would be coming up with further videos on uh, different resources and resource types on uh, GCP. In the coming videos, we would be looking into how we could play around with the EC2 instance and uh, work with the disks and the images and snapshots in gcp thank you so much for watching if you like the content please like the video and share it with multiple folks so that they gain the knowledge thanks for watching have a great day